Only in Hungary did the whole country take up arms. Against the might of Soviet Union, it fought a real fight for freedom. The result was that Stalinism could not continue. Under the rule of Soviet favorite Mathur Svasky, the security police, or ABH, began a campaign in which dissidents were arrested, tortured, tried, and imprisoned in concentration camps or executed, including the ABH founder Lazaro Rajk. The death of Stalin in 1953 opened communist countries to the possibility of reform. In Hungary, hardline autocracy was replaced by Erm Nagy. The base of communism in Hungary would not give in, however, and Nazi was removed from office by April 1955. In 1956, after years of Stalin-imposed tyranny, Hungarian students and workers marched for freedom.
Although the Hungarian national government was only in power for 10 days, they were beginning to move away from the communist system. Political prisoners were released, parties were reintroduced into the politics, and Hungary was making moves towards becoming a multi-party democracy. The ADH was disarmed, and local police forces were formed. Local groups took over programs that had been manned by the Communist Party in the past. Attention, attention. This is Free Kossuth Radio Budapest. Prime Minister Imre Noy has just been on the air and said the following. This is Imre Noy. Chairman of the Council of Ministers of the Hungarian People's Republic speaking. In the early hours of the morning, Soviet troops have started an attack against the Hungarian capital with the apparent purpose of overthrowing the local democratic government of the country. Our troops are engaged in battle with the Soviet force. Government is in its place. This is my message to the Hungarian people and to the whole world.